and happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. When I was a child, my mother reminded me that you cannot be a happy person unless you are a thankful person. Although my mom passed away many years ago, her word made such an impact in my life. I wanted to share it with you today. Oh, thanks, Corey. You've always been such a mama's boy. How did I get so lucky to have a husband like you? <laughs> Even though that we're living in one of the most challenging and difficult times with unemployment, depression, and COVID, can we still be thankful? Absolutely. Thankfulness is not dependent on our circumstances or our situation. Rather, it is an inner state in our mind and in our soul. In a state of knowing, regardless of how everything else is going in our lives, we still experience the goodness and faithfulness of our loving God. Hmm, that's right. Psalms tells us that we need to give thanks to the Lord, for He is good and His steadfast love endures forever. We have five things that we are thankful for, and I wanted to first thank you, our friends, watching this video. Because if you're watching this video, you have been part of that journey that we've had to take to make a difference in the 20,000 plus lives that we've had the privilege of caring for this last year at Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience. Secondly, we want to thank our amazing doctors who, despite of the challenges during COVID, took it upon themselves to make sacrifices to ensure that all of our patients are being taken care of, especially those who could not travel during COVID, continue to get care, especially those on the Big Island. Thank you, Dr. Mirai. Mahalo. Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience doctors for your sacrifice to care for our patients. So next, we are really thankful for our 50 plus staff members who have just relentlessly cared for those 20,000 patients this last year, who have come from all over the Hawaiian Islands. What did we do to deserve such amazing people? It's true, they are amazing. I think it really goes both ways. As God was so good to us, we did not have to lay off a single employee during the pandemic. Not only did we not lay off anyone or downsize, but we started two new clinics during COVID to meet our patients where they need us. We are not that smart, Michelle. Me and you are not that smart. You know, it is the goodness, grace, and mercy of God that has allowed us the privilege and honor to lead these amazing doctors and employees to care for these people. So next, we are thankful for the many community partners like you who have made it possible for us to do what we do every day. Every week, over 400 lives are changed as a result of getting neuroscience care and research here. And it's only been made possible because of community partners like you. Whether you're a hospital, an insurance company, an advocacy group, or a government agency, we are extremely thankful for your partnership. I am especially thankful uh, for the hundreds of research partners, sponsors, mm -hmm. scientists around the world who work with our clinical research team this year to allow us to bring over 30 groundbreaking neuroscience clinical trials to Hawaii so our patients in Hawaii do not have to travel anymore to the mainland for the latest treatments and research options. Mm -hmm. Lastly, we want to thank the 100 plus medical students and residents and research students whom we've had the privilege of mentoring during this last year. Yeah, Michelle, I am so proud of this resident students. <laughs> Did you know that this year alone, uh, the students together, the mentorship and guidance of uh, our amazing faculty like Dr. Carizano, HPN was able to pull out, put out four full-length PubMed papers, wow. uh, 19 national abstracts and posters. Did you know that? Oh, wow, that's amazing. We're thankful for the many patients' lives who've been transformed. We've had the opportunity to engage in some pretty amazing and exciting projects to advance research and science. We also get the opportunity to nurture and groom the next generation of physicians and neuroscientists. But if I were to sum up what was most important, I would say that we diligently work every day to find ways in which we can change the, make an impact on the lives of our community, one life at a time. That's right, Michelle, no doubt about that, because of the goodness of God and how blessed we are. We are proud to be giving back to our community by partnering with organizations like the shelter to care for the homeless single moms and the children living in the shelter. So did you know some exciting news? Hmm. What? We are going to once again be doing the, an the Angel Tree Christmas Project. Yes. And so we get the opportunity to bless single moms and their children living in this shelter. 
So I want to invite you, please join us by visiting the link on the shelter um, at, below. Mm -hmm. That's right, Michelle. Mm -hmm. You know, it is true, you know, that the scripture tells us in James 1, 27, that pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows with affliction and keep himself unspotted from the world. So please join us this Thanksgiving and consider giving back to the least of the least. Click on the link below. Mm -hmm. Now that you know, thankfulness is what brings happiness. Don't just wish someone happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Starting today, be thankful for five simple things in life and mm -hmm. share with someone or email Michelle and me what you're thankful for. We want to hear from you. Mm -hmm. Be the best that you can be today and be yourself and look for someone today to be kind to and be a blessing to and see your happiness level increases. Aloha. Mm -hmm.